What's up, my beautiful butterflies? It's your girl, Ryan, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a different video. I am not only a connoisseur of painting faces, but I can paint paintings too. So I found this viral video that's going around on TikTok. Um, it's very sensual, sexual looking painting. It is kind of like a silhouette of your booty. So, <laughs> basically, I'm showing you what I'm using. I used acrylic paint. I got all my stuff from Michaels. They're having a 70% off on the canvas. And, um, yeah, so, basically what you do, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch the video. And if I need to chime in, I will. But, basically, what you do is you paint this backdrop whatever color you want. And then you paint, you pick a color that you want to paint your body. And yes, you paint your body. You paint your thighs um, all the way down to your ankle. You paint both cheeks. You paint the bottom of whatever foot that you want to have down, the opposite of whatever, you know, leg that you have down. And you paint your hand. So you, it looks like you're sitting down and kind of leaning um, to one side. Or if you want to put both hands down, you can do that too. And I mean, that's basically what it is. I definitely recommend that you have somebody help you with this because painting your butt yourself is so hard and sitting down on that canvas by yourself is so hard so like i said i'll chime in when i need to but enjoy the video <laughs> So I do have a couple of tips that I learned while I was doing it. When you put down any body part, I mean besides your butt because you're already sitting on it so it's pressure, but when you have like you see the sliver by next to my foot, that's where my knee is. So make sure you push your knee and your thighs and your calf muscles down so the canvas can um, have all of that down on there. Same thing with your toes and your fingers. Make sure you push down every single toe. Make sure you push down every single finger. Make sure you push down the palm of your hand so everything can transfer onto the canvas. put up a little bit higher I mean it just depends on how you sit down and like like practice it before you before you actually put it on the canvas and see where your hand naturally falls and where your foot naturally falls so it'll look as realistic as possible also side note because I know you can see the little the little hole up there that's not my butt hole y'all I promise that's the crack that's my butt crack and I didn't put no paint inside of there so that's why there's no <laughs> that's why there's no paint it's not my booty hole I promise I did not spread eagle and sit on this canvas there were no canvases hurt in the making of this painting I promise but yeah make sure your hand and your foot naturally um, 
fall like where you would already where they will already you know be on the floor make sure it's like that on your canvas so with me I mean it still works because I could actually put my hand like that kind of um but if you're like like say if I was leaning to the side but if you want to make it look like you're leaning back or just have your hand on the floor put it up a little bit higher like in that corner next to your cheek color but if you wanted to leave it with just that first coat like of you sitting on it um that's perfectly fine it's actually really cute like that because you can see like the folds in your feet or where your skin comes off of the um canvas you know it just it gives it more texture it gives it more you know of a realism or a realistic kind of feel to the painting you can see like your fingerprints your toe prints just everything so but the reason why I'm going over it was because I had an idea that I wanted it to glow in the dark too but when I put the glow in the dark painting or paint sorry on top of it it left a white cast and I didn't really like that like I wanted the pink to still be vibrant um and then for the glow in the dark but tip if you want it to be glow in the dark mix the glow in the dark paint with your colored paint because even though i did or you can do it in layers because i didn't know if it was going to come out like that but basically what i did was i did go over it with that glow in the dark and i didn't like it so i repainted it with the pink but now when i turn off the light it's like the pink is glowing in the dark gotcha i know I know, tip, tip for y'all, tip for y'all from me. You can cash at me for that tip, $5. Nah, but for real, if you want to do a glow in the dark like how I did. See, and this is where I'm doing the glow in the dark. And it just left the white cast. You can see it on my butt. Like, I don't like that. But if I would have mixed it with the pink, then I think it would have been better. Or if I would have went over the whole thing and then repainted again like how I did. You know, all that stuff. So... Um, yeah, that's why this video is kind of long because I just I was going with the flow like I didn't like certain things So I read it and that's why I like acrylic because It's just it's so pigmented and it'll just cover up anything. So Yeah, do what you want add glitter You know to what you want to add glitter to um, I like the simplicity of the black background um, But in the end I still wanted to add a glow in the dark so I added glow in the dark to my curves like I took the paintbrush and I took the glow in the dark and I went around my hip, my cheek, my calf muscle, my foot, my hand. Um, and that's where I added the glow in the dark.
that I did or just some final touches just to give you some ideas so like I said before I wanted to incorporate the glow in the dark so I added that around the curves around my thighs and my cheek and my foot and I also um, had an idea from a friend to make it look like I was grabbing the canvas so that's what you're gonna see in the final video on the side is my other hand um, I want you guys to enjoy this video and try this out. It was really fun and it's really sexy. So <laughs> let me see, guys. Tag me it on my Instagram. Okay. Bye.